What we're about to see today looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. It's, it's really hard to imagine that we're actually here. Look at this. In the middle of a volcano crater. Let's start the vlog. Earth, home to some of the most beautiful and breathtaking places we have yet to experience. It still amazes me to this day how big this planet is, filled with so many places to see and not enough time to see it all. But then there are moments where you discover a place so incredible you can't even believe it with your own two eyes. I recently decided to take a trip to Bandung, the capital city of West Java. While searching for things to film, I came across a lake located just two hours south in the mountains of West Java. But this wasn't an ordinary lake. It was a sulfur lake inside of a volcanic crater with gas steaming into the air and water a color that I had never seen before. This was one of my favorite moments from Indonesia. Join me and discover Kawaputi. Tadi dua berapa? Dua ratus tiga puluh delapan lima kilometer lagi silakan. Two three eight. Two thirty eight. Yeah. So we just paid two hundred and thirty eight thousand rupiah. That's the entrance cost to go up to the crater for two people. What is this? I don't know. Maybe scan the ticket they gave you. This? No, the ticket. What ticket? Guys, don't lose your ticket. You gotta get it. You gotta use it to get into the gate. <laughs> hey babe, hmm? you know what's funny? No. All the money that we paid, no. instead of fixing the potholes, they just put up hati hati signs. <laughs> yeah. We've seen that. We've, uh, yeah. We've seen that everywhere. We've seen about 10 or 15 hati hati signs. So instead of fixing the, the hundreds of potholes, they just put up the signs instead. Be careful. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. Be <laughs> careful. Yeah, we're not gonna fix the potholes, but be careful. <laughs> oh, it's stinky out there. All right, good morning guys. So I didn't officially start the vlog and tell you where we are today. So we are exploring this white sulfur lake here today. It is called, uh, what is it called? Uh -huh. So it is called Kawa Puti and uh, Puti means white in Bahasa Indonesia. For that reason, it is a white sulfur lake. Ooh, I'm already tired, it's altitude. So we drove from Bandung south for about an hour and a half, two hours. And uh, so I'm trying to figure out where we're going first. Hold on. So this sulfur lake is actually in the center of a volcanic crater. And this volcano has not been active for roughly about 400 to 420 years. So uh, nothing to really be worried about at the moment. But uh, it's pretty cool to know that you're going in a volcano and you can already, already feel the smell of it. For those of you that don't uh, know what sulfur smells like, it smells like rotten eggs pretty much. I want to vlog. You want to vlog? Holy crap. <laughs> this place is incredible. Wait till you guys see this. Wow. Oh, it smells really bad. <laughs> Well, yeah, you definitely want to wear a mask when you're here, but holy crap. All right, let me show you exactly where we're at.
to go home soon. <laughs> you can't stand it. <laughs> wow. Look at this, guys. You can see all the sulfur and all the gas rising. Now, local legend, or so they say, local legend says that hundreds of years ago, before this place was discovered, the locals would not go up here because all the trees are withered away and uh, birds wouldn't fly over here. And so nobody would really make their way up here until a German explorer discovered this place. And uh, well, now it's become a tourist site, as you can see. And uh, there's actually not that many people out here. So if you guys wanna make your way up here, it's about two hours south of Bandung. Um, you can take public transportation. Uh, I believe they're called Angkot, or maybe I said that <laughs> Maybe I pronounced it incorrectly, but all the Indonesians will know what I'm talking about. Basically, it's like a public bus, a little minivan, and you can make your way up here. But uh, we had Quintana's car, and uh, man, I still can't believe this place, guys. Oh my god. Day yeah. Long. Yeah. Yeah. Kak, sehari berapa jam nangkring di sini? Dari pagi. Dari jam berapa? Dari jam 7. Jam 7 sampai jam? Jam 5. Jam 5 sore. Mm -hmm. Enggak baunya. Oh, kalau udah biasa enggak. Udah enggak ya. Penting kita banyak minum aja. Oh, you need to drink more. So. Really? Biar enggak yeah. dehidrasikan. Iya. Yeah. Oh, it's the number. Cool. Okay, so. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot of uh, guides here. We counted maybe like 30, 40 guides just sitting out there at the entranceway. And I can't <laughs> imagine it being very good for your health. But uh, yeah. He get used to it, so it's fine for him. Yeah. He just needs to drink a lot of water okay. to stay hydrated. By the way, I put my jacket on because it's kind of cold up here. The elevation is roughly about 8,000 feet, which is... I'm not sure how many that is in meters. I'll put the number in meters down below. But uh, <laughs> this place literally just looks out of something out of a movie. It's incredible. I've never been in a place like this. And I believe there's a there's also a place in Bromo in East Java as well, I believe, which has similar blue lakes like this. But oof, I almost slipped here. Yeah. The, <laughs> why are you laughing? This uh, good thing I was recording. Um, yes, yeah, a lot of this is gravel, and uh, the color of these lakes actually changes between like a white to a blue to a green and a brown. Oh, uh, it's starting to rain a little bit. Let me show you real quick. So this is the color of the lakes. You can see like this greenish color. I think yeah, there it feels warm. I feel like there's heat coming off of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming because of the steam, that's why the, 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 the water is pretty warm, probably. What do you think? It's really amazing, but it's a smell, so Smelly. I can't stay here longer. Yeah, what's also incredible is that uh, a lot of these trees are withered away, they're dying. But uh, at the top, you can see there's a little bit of a... Uh, some of the trees at the very top, though, are blooming and they're pretty green. It's starting to rain here, so we're gonna try to finish up here, but this is absolutely stunning, incredible. If you're ever coming to the Bandung area, take the time to come down here. It's a two hour drive if you have a car. Absolutely worth it to take some photos up here. Oh my gosh, absolutely stunning. I want more photos. Yeah, let's take some more. Yeah, but it's All right, we're gonna take some photos. Guys, it's begun to rain, oh. and uh, we're gonna run to the car. Wow. Oh, my camera's not waterproof, so I'll see you guys at the car. Much better. 
All right, the rain has stopped. I'm gonna head back down for maybe another 10, 15 minutes because I do want to fly the drone down there. And uh, hopefully the rain stays away. If I didn't mention it before, it is pretty cold um, because of the elevation, obviously. It's roughly about 50 degrees, around 50 degrees. Oh, great, it's starting to rain. Again. Uh, one smart business that these guys have thought of is bringing umbrellas and renting them out to all the tourists. How much did he say? I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious to see how much the umbrella rentals are. I'm not sure where all these people came from. All of a sudden there's just like 50, 60 people here. So it's gotten so foggy now that you can't even see the other side. You can't even see this bridge anymore. This bridge used to be there. I mean, you can't even see that now. All right, so we're roughly about after an hour and a half, the rain's passed, but uh, it's beginning to get a little crowded. So we're gonna head out to our next destination. So if you guys do want to come out here, definitely come out here early and expect it to rain because uh, Bandung is really a rainy city, just as uh, Bogor in, uh, in Indonesia. So make sure you guys bring a jacket. It's a little cooler out. And don't forget your umbrella because you will need it. But if you want to rent it, I'm not sure how much the rentals are, but they can't be that much uh, for the renting for renting the umbrellas. So, absolutely beautiful place. <laughs> it doesn't smell that well, but still highly recommend it. Hello. All right, back in the car, I can take this off. Now off to our next adventure, which is only like maybe 30 minutes away, I think. See you guys there. So if you guys aren't coming up here by car, these are the little buses, minivans that'll take you up from the very bottom at the ticketing office to the very top. Pretty cool. We haven't driven more than five minutes. Literally, this place is right across the street from uh, the Sulphur Lakes. So if you guys are interested in coming, this is like a campground. And uh, I think it's a deer breeding grounds or conservation grounds. I'm not sure really. But uh, supposedly, it's a really cool area and you can feed the deer here. <laughs> so uh, that's why we're here. Look at the street behind me here. It's like uh, all muddy. Hey! <laughs> Don't get stuck. Not sure wearing white shoes is going to be the best idea here, but we'll make it work. Here we are at Ranka Rancha Upas. <laughs> I keep forgetting the C is a ch in Bahasa, Indonesia. We got a coffee shop here and the entrance. My whip, whip baby? Was it bu bunch? Buchin. Buchin? Yeah. Kamu buchin. Kamu buchin. No, bu kamu buchin. <laughs> kamu buchin. Yes. So if I haven't mentioned it 20 times already, uh, Rancha Upas is the name of it. I'll put the name down below. Wow, really beautiful. You can come out here to camp or feed the deer. There's also a kids' playground. So it's been highly recommended by several people. So we'll see. Yes, and it's only like literally two minutes away from uh, the sulfur crater. Have any of you fed deer in your life? Oh, it's smelly down here. <laughs> Good, good, good. No, 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 for you. Oh, no more. I only have few. You're enough. Okay. Oh my god, they're following you. Ow! <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Hide it. Hide it. 
Oh my god. Look how big this one is. Oh my god, there is so much poop. You gotta be careful. Yeah, it's smelly here because there's obviously deer living here. This is a very unique opportunity. They're following They're all following us right now. Oh my god. No! No! Go away! Oh gosh, I hope I don't get headbutted by one of these deer. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh my god. Oh, the deer have to feed it like, like this. Oh. Like this. Like this. I already got my shoes dirty. Maybe Shabby should have stop it. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Which ones have the antlers? The boys or the girls? I have no idea. Their fur is like very rough. Yeah, right? But they're sweet. Well, we ended up running out of carrots because all of the deer chased us. I mean, as soon as they see the carrots, they literally run after you. Really cool experience if you've never seen deer or been really up close and personal with them because, uh, yeah, back home you Americans hunt deer. They don't really, you know, feed them. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if any of you guys have been here, if you guys know more information about this place, comment down below, let me know. Again, a lot of you recommended the place, so that's just the place that we went to. It was a cool, really cool, one-of-a-kind experience. Carrots cost 10K, I mean, the deer basically get fed all day. <laughs> I think this is gonna conclude our day, guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed the Sulphur Lakes. That was a unique, one-of-a-kind experience that i uh, never been to before, and being in the volcano crater is just incredible, so. And on top of this, we got to interact with deer right up close. So, thanks for joining us guys today. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, comment down below any questions you guys might have. And of course guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.